on that CT side. But, you know, you got to take a look at Stiff Meister and think, you know, they probably are the favourites in this situation. Look, they're not playing with their full fine, uh, lineup. Of course, Cray is missing from the lineup. They are playing with Luzza instead uh, of Endpoint and formerly of Excel. Uh, but look, they're effectively still an MDL quality lineup. Um, so they've got to be the favourites going into this. Yeah, yeah. Even then, Luzza was part of the Endpoint rosters that were in the MDL. So exactly. lots of experience here in Stiff Meister. Let's see if they can put it to effect against the UK boys of the Enclave side. It's the Pistol Round Trials taking the Cs there for the CT side. It's mostly Kevlar out except for Ashton with a P250. The Glocks will be doing their damage though as Luzza gets the first on Shaney. And it's going to be Dancy keeping his way around to take down Trials. Mr. Kui, the only man to get a trade so far. She can try holding this one from Connector, but the bomb will get planted. Four versus two retake now for the counter terrorist. And there is no defuse kit to play with right here. An explosive start uh, from Stiffmeister, who have piled out of B long and charged straight towards E room, just running as a pack and are uh, trading in their favor. And now they've got a very favorable after plant and quickly dismissed uh, Whisk and Cheeky by Astro and Dancies. Yeah, as you were saying, exploding out of the site. Very nicely done there from Stiff Meister to kick things off to their pistol victory. And they're going to go with a very aggressive buy as well. The three AKs coming out from the uh, main staple players. They've got two MAC-10s as well for Astro and uh, Catmeat Frederick. I, I honestly don't know who he I'm is. Not, I'm trying to figure out which one Catmeat Frederick is. <laughs> Whoever it is, their real alias can't be as good as Catmeat Frederick. So, <laughs> uh, probably just going to call them Catmeat Frederick. <laughs> probably. But yeah, on the CT side as well, the Force Buy coming out from these guys. The Kevlar, no helmets across the board for the CT. Shaney's got the only one without Kevlar, but Deagle's CZ's are standard. Free flashbangs and a smoke on Shiki, which just got used. Uh, that's gone out to the uh, mid position on the... Uh, uh, water room is going to be trying to defend this uh, mid position at the very least. But Steph Meister got themselves a B centre default. So far, trying to look for a pick up towards long, but so far, not finding anything yet. No, a uh, fairly slow pace at the minute. Um, they're probably going to try and find a way to do the heavy lifting with those Mac 10s, try to accumulate some money. Of course, Shaney only buying the Deagle and no armor because he is their designated pauper at this event. Not usually part of their roster, Shaney, only standing in for this event. Um, they've had some roster issues recently, have uh, have Enclave. They've been playing in the EPS uh, with a couple of subs. They've been playing with Lumji and Dream. Um, so Shaney's standing in for this event uh, and bringing that AWP roll, which they've kind of been missing uh, a little bit. So he's saving for, for that AWP, so we'll see the AWP coming up from him, no doubt. And some action here at mid. As Astro finds the entry onto Sheik with a headshot with the MAC-10, and they are exploding onto the A side of the map. Yeah, knife out from Sheiky, got caught off guard by the Mac-10, that's an easy $600 for Astro. And now, as you say, the push coming in from Stiff Meister. They make their way in, it's Catmate Frederick to get himself two frags, so money, money, money for the SMGs of Stiff Meister, and the bomb will make his way on towards A2, that's his four for Shaney and Whisk. One with Kevlar, one without. Deagle's in play, and they will get one frag at least. Astro low on HP is dead, but as is Whisk with that one taps coming in from Dancy. Now Shaney, 42 HP in a dream, does get a very nice flick onto Dancy. Catmate Frederick also low, may end up falling relatively quickly here. Or you could just get that other frag and make it 3k overall with that MAC-10. But nope, it will be linked to find that last frag and get the second on the board for Stiffmeister. Catmate Frederick turning uh, Enclave into mincemeat with that MAC-10, picking up some money and uh, he will keep that MAC-10 into the freebie round, the accumulator round here, as we only see USPs on Enclave. So it is a chance for those SMGs, of which there is three, to accumulate some of that money. And uh, hopefully for Stiffmeister, they can get through that round without any casualties and start to dominate the economy nice and early into this half. I actually reinvested into a third MAC-10 as well, so they really do want to do some economy building, but... Uh when it comes to upgrading these AKs, if they lose more players, then they could end up being a bit more expensive than it really is worth. And yeah, Dancy are going to go falling. Can't be Frederick still getting the flank together against the CT side. Now it's just a one versus four. Uh, make that none versus four, actually. Simple clock taps and a 3 0 for Steph Meister to kick things off with the pistol conversions. And most players should be upgrading right here. I imagine Dancy will be getting out of the AK. Drop to Can't meet Frederick, so I'm not sure what that's all about. But yeah, the fourth AK will come through, and Dancy will have the MAC 10. Being well, the CT side. 
has the 5M force to play with. No head armor, understandably. There's mostly AKs together. But when it comes to well. Darcy, maybe he could be able to do some damage with that headshot and uh, take some players down on the CT side. Could catch him off guard. It's very popular to use a MAC-10 on a no upgrade round towards drop, and that might be what's happening. Um, maybe have to wait out some utility. Charging out of the B long smoke is Catmeet Frederick. Laza comes out to trade in one for one. And uh, there comes the MAC-10 through drop. The trades are coming in thick and fast, and it's a 2v2. They're going to be able to set up the bomb plant for the after plant as the rotations come in from Mr. Hoy and Shiki. Yeah, very similar explosive setup coming in from Steph Meister out from B Long, but this time it seemed like Enclave were ready for it. And indeed, they do turn things to a two versus two, which is a winnable retake, but they gotta act quick. There is no defuse kit for either player here. Mr. Hoy peeking out, taking out Luzza, and gets the double on Link. Very nicely done. 15 HP to spare, and the defuse will come through for Enclave for their first in the rifle round. Yeah, that was a tricky, a tricky 2v2, but uh, Mr. Hoy and Cheeky have made that look easy. Um, and they, uh, they are off the mark with a single, and uh, they're into this game. Only survived with two, so they're going to have this tough time consolidating. Of course, all of those MAC-10 kills in the first three rounds are going to afford Stiff Meister uh, a pretty comprehensive buy. The AWP is coming on to Luzza, who is standing in for the team and will be assuming AWPing duties. Uh, so we'll see what he does with that AWP first time around. Of course, there's no AWP to answer. Uh, there's no AWP in Shaney's hands just yet. Because there's two AKs picked up from the last round, but uh, as if my Steph kind of be jungling this AWP around the entire tournament, giving it to Luzza and Dancy at the same time. So I'm uh, curious to see whether he picks it up later on during the uh, uh, during the matchup, or whether it's just you know, for starter, or whether Stiff Meister are playing a different sort of setup or something. Um, for now, it's just the default coming in and the one for one trade. Make it two for one. Make it three for one with a spray connection coming in from Mr. Hui. Whisk also out towards the B site. Takes down Cat B Frederick. And that is a one versus three for Lazar to deal with. Not the weapon that he wants to be taking this one. That's the AWP in play. But he does catch off Shady. Bomb on his back. Closing in the backstab from Whisk, however. Still only two more players to find here. He's got low HP. The next phase should be his last unless he gets these shots. Two 1v1s to take right here. And 60 seconds on the clock for the lone T-side player. Whisk is lurking uh, out the back around mid. It does mean that the two CTs are isolated. So if Luzza does win one fight, he is going to have himself a completely separate 1v1. And depending on the order in which they get caught, uh, and if he's found a gap in between the two CTs here, down interconnected towards B, then it could be a, a different scenario altogether. But uh, is Charles going to be aware of Luzza? He flicks over. Luzza hits him in the leg with the AWP. Now they're aware of where he is, and Charles is able to, to finish him off. Would have been very interesting there if uh, Luzza had finished Charles off and was able to manufacture a 1v1. Whisk was a fair way away, so he would have been able to plant the bomb and set up. Wasn't to be. And uh, it looks like Stiffmeister uh, opting for a little bit of a half buy. And, uh, and, and we'll see what they can get done with that. Nice back and forth BM from both sides as well. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> you can't not love it. They are they are giving it to my boy Whisk, who was the MVP <laughs> of the last series, so we won't be having any of that. <laughs> Stiff Meister for themselves, as you say, quasi path by almost, you just want to say, two players with no Kevlar, but three with Kevlar helmets that are already going to fall to the hands of Whisk, taking down one, two, make it all, almost three, but Catme Frederick. That's down that one player, Shane, connecting on one spray before he traded back by Astro CZ, but yeah, eventually the CTs do clean up, should be able to gather the rifles together, so she can get that UMP traded out, not quite, so still at least an automatic weapon for the CT to play with, as they do even things up against Stiffmeister, three to three, but the lost bonuses do stack, and of course Stiffmeister have themselves a decent amount to play with. AK's coming out, full sets of utility across most players, as the uh, Kevlar helmets will be in play for the T side. Yeah, Enclave have been playing a r over the last two, three best of threes that they've been played. have been playing a real simple, confidence-based uh, brand of Counter-Strike. And uh, if they get going, they can be very, very difficult to stop. Uh, so Stiffmeister have to be, be careful here. Um, but Dancy's does some good work there in getting the first pick onto Shaney and then gets a follow-up onto Trials. Catmeet Frederick also with his own headshot onto Whisk and all of a sudden the round is falling apart for Enclave. Just Shiki and Mr. Hoy left in a 2v5, which they will probably not even attempt. Yeah, picked apart, low HP across the board here for the CT side. Bomb will get planted by Astro and yeah, as you say, very little that they could probably do. They held back towards uh, Waterman. They're trying to see if they can pick up Luzza, but nope, the AK just peeks up and shuts him down. Shiki does get one frag, so 
A little extra bonus with a $600 kill with the SMG, but now an AK to try and save into the next round. This will be a fourth for Stiffmeister as they break the stalemate and take their lead back away from the CT side. Uh, but yeah, just Shiki for the stay alive. These players will go hunting. See if they give him the 1v1s or whether he'll be able to find... Oh, nothing in this particular case. Good flash flash. out, Shiki. Doesn't catch much of it, though. Doesn't matter, because Katmi Frederick will still win out the Angel. And yeah, 4 to 3, as we're expecting. CT, no, sorry, T side taking the lead back away once again. That's it. Economy issues uh, for Enclave, who will probably opt for a little bit of a save, unless they force into it. Who knows? Uh, they've been quite aggressive with their economy so far at this event. But uh, not this time. Luzza's got his AWP back. Um, interesting that he's AWPing over Dancy's, as, as you mentioned. Quite different styles of AWPers, Luzza and Dancy's. Luzza is a little bit more of a turret, whereas Dancy's is a little bit more of a madman <laughs> uh, with the AWP. Um, but Luzza will be, will be carrying it for, for Cobble, at least for the T side, it would seem. Yeah. Well, obviously, probably Dancy thing, yeah. as you say, he's a little bit more like a madman, a little bit more flexible and, and, and mobile when it comes to the AWP. So for a T side, it seems like it might be a little bit more beneficial. So maybe Lazar might swap it out later on during the half. I don't know, really. I don't know really what Stiffmeister, you know, their strategy and playbook is. I mean, yeah, I haven't seen much of these two teams as teams. I've seen lots from all the different players individually. Um, but when it comes down to their team play, not 100% sure what the strap book is like. What I can tell you, however, is that the buy-ups are definitely winning for the T side. The AKs, the rifles out five versus three immediately. As Shady and Mr. Hui do fall. Shiki, however, getting himself a little bit of ground thanks to this smoke. And maybe able to catch up a decent flank against this T side if they do push through mid. 50 seconds will be left. And Charles will be here to support him from a very long range position. And well, it looks like the T side may end up falling for this hook line and sinker, or they may just rotate back away. Some utility being popped out here. Shiki just waiting, watching. Hoping for Astra to peek around the flashbangs out, and he will just back his way back in towards the B side because Stiff might still have control. But I'll get this one down. Shiki will, have, much yeah, Shiki will have identified it's a fake, but there's absolutely naught he can do about it. Uh, of course, uh, the AK is charging into the B bomb site and cleaning out the round, cleaning up the round clinically. Of course, this is uh, this will be Stiff Meister's map pick, I expect, uh, Cobble. Uh, those at home may remember that this is the map that they beat former major champions Gambit on online, where Seized had a a poor match. Yeah, <laughs> a poor match is to say the least, right there, P Magic. But yeah, no, the Mountain Dew League, as you were saying, Stiff Meister having that much of an advantage. It was a close map though, 13 to 16 regardless. It is, but they've been doing sensationally well. Defying yeah, they're currently, wow. currently four to four, if I remember correctly, right now in the Mountain Dew League, which is, I think, so far better than every UK team, I think. I don't want to count out. I don't know much about, oh, uh, well, um, never mind. We'll come back to that in a second, because the AWP of Stiffmeister. Dancy now has it, and he's going mad. Two frags already. One was a quick scope. I think one was a no scope as well. And the T's take full control of this one. But, uh, you know, I think that 4-4 four four result is, I think, better than every other UK team that's been in the Mountain Dew League so far. Most of the time when the UK team makes it to that higher level, they're really just fighting to keep their spot. Um, but Stiffmeister, if they can keep playing the way that they've been playing and, and winning maps, I think just the other night, they took it all the way up to P Pride. They beat against all odds 16-5 or something. So, mm. look, they're an outside chance to even make some sort of playoffs. I don't know quite what the format is for MDL, but they're actually finally giving the UK something to be proud about in Counter-Strike. Um, so I'm quite fond of uh, the, the Stiffmeister guys. And look, what. At, at this land, we've got Laza standing in. You've got some real versatility, being able to choose what kind of AWPer you want to have your AWP. Um, that's a luxury not many teams have. Still, they'll go aggressive. Ooh, I think that was a grenade from Whisk there. Which managed to tag Shane down to 66. But it will be Trials to get the first frag on Catmeet Frederick going falling to the 5 on 4 to the favour of Enclave as they catch him off through the smoke. Default from Enclave, relatively aggressive across the map, but... Uh, not too much so, not much presence on A. Eventually two players do rotate back and they take some passive control on the site itself and here from Balcony. Unfortunately for them, that's exactly where Stiffmeister are going. Shiki taking some blind shots and receiving some utility in return. Trying to catch off one of these players and Trials will be here also to support. Probably blocking a smoke, but I think you'll still be able to catch it just about at the edge. Taking out Wal Luzza. Shiki will peek out with the AWP, taking out Lincoln. Doesn't know that there's another man here, but meanwhile Astro peeking up, takes down the first. Looking for Charles, just above the APC. We'll find it, and alongside uh, Dancy, we'll turn it back to a two versus two with the A bomb site completely open for business here. 
Look, Enclave was set up fantastically there. They got the B platform information. They got Sheiky set up in that cubby. That afforded them that extra rotation over towards the A site. They had everything going in their favor, but Astra just popped off. And all of a sudden, they have a 2v2 retake. Counter-Strike isn't all about the setups. Sometimes an individual player can uh, turn around single-handedly. In this case, two individual players could turn this whole thing around. 2v2 situation for either side. Damage done to Dancy and the grenade from Shane will finish things off. So he's all alone up against Astro, but Astro lines up the head and shuts him down, taking it off his shoulders. A 3k for Astro overall for that entry play in towards the A side and the overall defensive. So seven rounds on the board for Stiff Meister as they have taken away only, well, only a handful of rounds on the Enclave side. There was that wild rifle round and then the... Uh, following uh, Ecos that came from the likes of Stiffmeister. And from there, Enclave haven't really secured a whole lot against this T-side. Look, they look so confident that Link was late getting out of spawn. In fact, I can tell you, I've just figured out who Catmeat Frederick is. It's none other than Fry. Ah. So there you go. Fair bit of experience there uh, with Catmeat Frederick, I believe. Catmeat Frederick, Fry, as uh, the frags come in towards long A and B simultaneously, and the round is over just like that. Uh, easy, but yeah. uh, Fry replaced Mr. Hoy, who is playing on Enclave in that lineup. You are right, actually. So Mr. Yeah. Hoy has probably got uh, a point to prove. Right now, he's not proving a whole not lot right it. here. He Pro is still five rounds behind Stiffmeister. That being said, he is currently the top frag for his team and currently out fragging uh, Lincoln Luzza. Unfortunately, not doing much against Fry, who is uh, second top fragging alongside Dancy, only behind Astro at 13. So, um, uh, uh, decent stats being posted by Mr. Hoy, but uh, plenty of others being posted by the opposing side and Stiffmeister. Uh, actually, they'll lose the opening door right here. Shiki, very close angle out towards uh, A long. Catching Dancy down five versus four instantly into this one. But the T side will still make their way in from mid, and there's a lacking CT presence here. Enclave could have very easily just leave it down to one player, and they just may just storm this site very easily from the Stiff Meister side. Still one man down. Mr. Hoy and Shiki will change it to make it two, three. Well, well, Link will trade back Shiki to the four versus two situation. And the bomb has been dropped. It's in CT control, actually. Stiff Meister have kind of thrown this round right out the window here. Yeah, look, again, with that information on B-plat, Enclave have been able to get that extra rotation over towards A before the hit comes in. Shaney with the second AWP invested into that round. It was Shaney and Shiki on the two AWPs. Uh, but they, they got that extra rotation over to A, but unlike the previous round, no heroics from Astro, so Enclave are able to convert. They don't manage to recover the second AWP, uh, so it is only the one AWP on Shaney into this round and the Famous onto Shiki. Uh, but if they can string together a couple more rounds, and they're well and truly into th into this, um, Cobble can be quite T-sided uh, on its day. So I think Enclave would be happy if they can pick up a couple of these remaining three rounds. Three, yes. Three, three rounds remaining in the half. I can say Enclave would do well to win these. Get to a close CT advantage and run into their T-side with a bit of a run. Right now it's just Shaney back here towards the chicken coop. Taking the first man, Link peeks out the Matrix. Luzza also peeking up. He gets one frag before Shaney trades him right back out in the AWP duel. There's one by Dancy, who's going well. 2k, make it three with the headshot coming in onto Mr. Hoy. Shutting down the x Meister player and leaving it all up to Shiki. A 1v3, well and truly caught off guard. Caught out of position on the backstab. Make his way back in from drop, but I think they have information on where he is. They multiple them out. Taps come through, and it will be Fry to win out of the ninth here for Stiffmeister. Yeah, get caught behind that block, and if the AWP is on stairs as it was from Dancy's dancing around uh, on plat there, it can be very, very difficult to deal with. You can't see much of their head as they're going up and down that, he uh, that stairs position. And uh, being able to take off that person's head with a rifle can be really, really tricky. And Dancy's picks up a very, very impressive 3K that round. And the AWP 3K, very nicely done again. That's the sort of the difference between what we saw of Luzza and what we saw of Dancy. I'm glad he's back on the AWP. But well, Dancy's picked that up off Luzza. Luzza. Luzza had it. He died. Dancy's picked it up and got three more. So there's four AWP kills that round. Yeah. And yeah, as I was saying, uh, very, very mm. mobile AWP kills coming in from Dancy. You know, very different to the way that Luzza, as you were saying uh, earlier on during the game. And, you know, his very mo very mobile style is doing good work for Stiffmeister on their push into the B site. For now, though, should be a relatively easy round here for the Stiffmeister side. Oh dear. Not <laughs> aided by the fact that Mr. Hui has taken out his own teammate at Deagle Shot. Hey, so he thought he was still playing for Stiffmeister. <laughs> I think he's forgotten which side he was batting for. <laughs> four versus four situation. And 60 seconds left. Not much for Enclave to be working in this one. The Deagles and CZs 
The T side will make their way around the A site defensive with Shiki pushed up aggressive. Shaney also holding this one down for Matrix. Uh, back, well, not backed up by Mr. Hui. He's holding it down drop down. I guess they don't really trust him too much after that particular kill. But two frags come through. Stiffmeister gain control of A. The bomb will go down. This should be a 10th round on the ball for Stiffmeister. Unless Mr. Hui can land some ridiculous one digs and Shaney can get some ridiculous one tap. But I doubt it will come through. The bullets rain through. Shaney will get some damage under the likes of Link. But that is about it right here. And again, as we're saying, this is the same in the AK. Looking for the 10th round here, the T side are doing very well right now. Yes, at the very least, Shaney has recovered the AK of Catmeat Frederick, imbued with the powers of Catmeat Frederick. So if he can hold on to that, and Mr. Hoi has just uh, pinched Astro's AK, so being able to carry two AKs into this final round will be uh, a, a big selling point for them. 10 to 4 is the scoreline. Currently on, well, actually, we were on Maxos bonus for Enclave, but now they're going to have to struggle their way into it's the force by mm. for this last round of the half here. Because that second AK falling as well. They lose the Catmeat Frederick AK. That's the better of the two AKs. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I think. I believe it is. Hold on. It's, oh, yes. I can't tell. Mr. Hui's picked up a, uh, a USPS from Trials. Shaney's gone mag seven. I love to see it. Uh, he'll, you would assume he'd be taking that towards drop. That's the most popular place to play a mag seven. He's not there though. Where is he? He's playing close to platform, but he gets his uh, gets taken out quickly by Luzza and Astro. Uh, quickly following up onto Whisk. Trials with a Deagle only gets one, and uh, looks like things are really a formality when Stiffmeister decide they want the B site. Yeah, very strong B takes all maps so far. And Shiki is the last man left. AK and a dream. 1v3, he's taking the first man down. Looking for Link. Does catch him off guard. He's getting that one more frag, but 19 HP. It should just be a matter of which shot lands first here from Luzza. And it will be Luzza's every single day of the week. Flashed out. Shiki couldn't respond in time. That's 11 to 4 to the favor of the T side. And yeah. Very, very confident map there from Stiffmeister. And, you know, we were talking about how Enclave do have some potential, but we definitely believe this to be the case of Stiffmeister were coming into this one as probably the odds-on favourite of the series. Yeah, this is this is the trouble with Enclave uh, trying to play this style, which is simple and uh, really working on the, the aim of, of players like, like Whisk. When you run into to the class of, of Stiffmeister, all of a sudden you're not the ones with the, the, the best aim in the server anymore. Um, and that style isn't going to work for you. So um, they're going to have to find something a little bit more tactical if they're going to uh, they're going to come back into this game. I think. That's for certain. Pistol round out to see if they can do. So they're going to try for the exact same B explosive play. And well, Mr. Hui will catch Luzzo off very very quickly indeed. Caught off guard, missing all of his single shots. Couldn't land a single one. It will be Fry at least getting one alongside Dancy is on the back side here towards long. They are still going to try to trust in. They can find some frags. They turn it to a two versus three, make it one versus three. As Whisk is the last man left alone alive at the back of the site. Link tapping his weight, finding that head eventually. We'll get the defuse as well for Stiff Meister. And for Enclave, that may have been their last chance saloon thrown completely out of the window. Yeah, I think that they really, really needed that round. They uh, called from, or both sides have called from the Russian school of Counter Strike with a rush B. <laughs> uh, no utility whatsoever. Um, it got the site easily enough, but uh, Stiffmeister had opted for an aggressive play at mid, which allowed for the very, very fast flank out B plat, uh, and they've more opted for a retake style on B, which has worked out very, very well for them. Uh, the force by coming in now from, from Enclave, uh, running out of time to get themselves back into this game. And as you say, not many rounds left in play for them. They're looking at potentially... These few conversions left against Stiff Meister. As a result, they got that bomb plot. They got extra money, so they're going to go for a force buy in this one. The two UMPs, they have to try and see if they can deny it. That match point from Stiff Meister. They're doing well so far, taking out three players just for the one trade of Fry, Link, and Dancy. The last two left of MP9 and M4 in play for the CT. So coming from very different angles as well. They're mostly covered. Cheeky waiting. Close range. CZ headshot to come through on Link, and indeed he does find it. That's. Another SMG to play with. I think Darcy will realize that his luck is up and his chances are slim. So hold on to that M4. Leave a fifth round to favor the Enclave side. Stiffmeister will have to concede, at least for the moment. 
Oh, everything actually is in a favour of the team. That's it. They'll probably pick up that M4 as well uh, to add insult to injury. And uh, look, they needed something a little bit special to perhaps spark a comeback. Um, and maybe that can be it. All UMPs? No, that's not all UMPs. I'm blind. There's an MP9 and a, a M4A1. What's with the different in... colours? Yeah, the uh, yeah, camouflage. I, 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 from what I understand, is actually the 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 cor correct white ones, the proper like on tone white ones, are the ones mm. that the player has actually bought. versus the one, yeah, the ones that are grey are actually the ones that right. the has either been dropped for them, or they're picked up from someone else. Uh, is the uh, is the way it's kind of worked out. But yeah, off from that, back into the action. Three versus two, and Stiff Meister with two eagles that Link and Dancy bought for themselves up against uh, an SMG and a rifle that was dropped for two players from Uncle Evan and a UMP that was bought by Shane. He's got himself three, Ks on, three kills on that one so far, but he will end up falling to Link's Deagle, a 1v2 for him, so making it relatively expensive for Uncle Evan, but not by much. They were probably going to look to reinvest into some rifles in the next couple of rounds anyway. But yeah, this should be a sixth round now for the T side. Just Link looking for an exit frag or two. This one's well too far ticked. Try and make a retake work with no defuse kit. They know it's something out towards connected. Mr. Hui should get away alive with the M4. And they will also look to try and back off. Re aggressed from Shiki. Close range here from the drop down room. Yeah, that actually doesn't find oh. it. No, Link takes him down. So, yeah, a very expensive round for Unclave. It was. They only did buy SMGs into it. So, they ha it's not like they've given the M4 and AK away in doing that. And they've subsidized the cost of losing their SMGs with getting kills with those very same SMGs. So, if you're going to die with four people, it's not like they all bought ops and AKs and that sort of stuff. Um, and they've got a round here where, uh, against a, a fairly weak buy of Stiffmeister, they can hopefully, for their sake, consolidate with a round, keeping four or five alive and build that economy. But, but they flashed each other, so that doesn't really help when running out of B-Long. I mean, they're going to go for another rush strategy right here very quickly. And they just want to get themselves three, almost four kills. We've got Fry holding on for a couple of seconds. Eventually, he's traded back by Whisk, who doubles, no, triples down, actually, in that last round. And Enclave making this very aggressive B style of play just straight out along and sometimes even mixing in a little bit of drop down room aggression. It's working out for them. Stiff Meister is struggling to deal with it, even on their rifle round sometimes. Yeah, well, you're going to need some more utility than they've had so far in order to stop those fast B plays. It's, it, it seems very effective, but as soon as a, a Molotov and a couple of counter nades are dropped there, then it can it can be like running into a blender. But it looks like they're going to keep going until Stiffmeister proves that they can answer it. Trials throws a flash into the wall. That's not the best flash I've seen. Out they come fast. That looks like getting stuck on platform, which has given the CTs time to get slightly better positions and contest them as they come out plat. Meanwhile, Dancy's uh, finds Sheiky's lurk, uh, but it's 5v3 in favour of Stiffmeister. That 4v3 eventually. But, oh, never mind. Fry is going to go peaking. He's going to be able to make it work for the moment, but not for long. Astro traded out by Trials to a two versus one. It is to the favor of Stiffmeister for the moment, but 20 HP left for the lone man. He's got the bomb control. He's got time to work with. He's trying to see if he can force the issue away. He tries to see if he can catch up a mistake from one of these Stiffmeister players. But realistically, they know that he's got to come to them. He's pinned from both sides. He can't pick up the bomb and rotate. He's got to go ahead and commit to this B site or otherwise force the issue away from Link or Dancy. 50 seconds left. Back on Matrix still. Bomb dropped just below him in the half full gap. Dancy will eventually spot the cross. Take him down. Take a relatively, not convincing 13th round, but. Still a relatively convincing fight for the 13th round for Stiffmeister. Exceptional patience in that 2v1. That was a really solid, fundamental counter-strike. I think you'll notice two B rushes in a row. Enclave have messed up a flash when exiting B long. The first time, it didn't uh, it didn't get in the way. But I think that time there, there might have been a bit of team flash action, which caused them to get stuck around that broken wall area of B long, um, which caused their, their, their B rush to be interrupted. Um, but it looks like it's not deterring them from going towards B-Long yet again, as they're sending all of their players towards that part of the map early on. Sumio try to slow things down, and they're actually going to keep them suppressed for a long time, and Astro will reap the benefits for it. A 4k out of this one. Shiki very, very low. Tagged up hard. Astro with that ace through the smoke. Well, that's one way to stop a rush right there. Keep them all pinned back behind the box and just leave it up to your main rifle to get all five frags right there, uh, um, uh, Nick. 
Impressive. <laughs> must must I, be I, him again. I forgot your name. <laughs> That's right. I do that sometimes. Look, impressive stuff from Astro there. I did say that as soon as the uh, as soon as Stiffmeister gets some utility, Molotovs smokes, as was the case there. Then all of a sudden it goes from a glorious B rush to running into a blender. So it looks like they're trying a different approach. They're going fast on the A side of the map and a quick one for one trade. But there's a second player here, Link, with the best gun in the game, a P90, and he's going to get one frag there at long range down into mid, um, and. Hatmeet Frederick Fry uh, is also going to try and contribute as Link keeps mobile with the P90. Ooh. Wow, Whisk and Cheney and Cheeky combining with a HE grenade, but it's Astro and Astro again with two frags of his own to shut things down. Just Cheney with his Mac 10, bomb on his back. Got to take this close range game, but he's got to win it against Loza. Sitting around the pillar here from Connector 1v2 for Cheney as well, so he's well in the disadvantage and stiff my start. Have only two rounds to make up to win out Cobblestone here on this CT side. Eventually, Astro finds the flank and shuts Shaney down. We're on map point for Stiffmeister. Unclave have a broken economy as well. Looking likely that they may end up falling to pieces for this one. With the Eagles coming out, the uh, UMP, the Galil. A little bit of utility to spare, but not much here from the T side as the Swerver has Spoilers! Itself. Okay. Is it? Is that, yes. is, is that spoilers? That looks like it is spoilers. Okay. Look, I, I don't think that was a big, big, uh, a big secret as to what's happened there. But uh, 